OK, we're going to service the motors in the EQ6. As you can see here, I've got my uh, EQ mod connection here and the power and the auto guiding cable with a couple of clips to stop them coming out. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take off these screws, these four in the corners. And what you'll find underneath is there's a, a circuit board which is uh, screwed onto this metal plate by these four inner screws in here. So I'm just going to unscrew these now and then you can see what it looks like. Okay, we've unscrewed the front um, off of the EQ6. Here's the panel board with the screws that hold it to the casing and to the board underneath. And there's the board underneath. And basically what we've done is we've taken out one of the motors there. You can see the two screw holes on the right hand side. That's where you need to unscrew in order to get the actual motor out. Either one or both. And then our motor is sitting here. As you can see. I hope you'll be able to hear the sound from the motor as I spin the uh, gears. It's obviously a bit louder than it should be because it's vibrating against the casing so I've got it resting up there. but. So this is the gear that I've taken off, now it's time for cleaning, I've already done a fair bit of cleaning on the top, so I've just got some alcohol and some cotton buds and I'm just going to be cleaning uh, inside the gears and around them just to clean them up before I re-grease them. The actual grease I ended up buying was from a local uh, bike shop. It's TF2 Lubricant Lithium Grease. Uh, it's a branded grease. It's from a company called Weltight. Weltight, and they have a web address as well. And that's what I should be putting on. It's a white, white lithium grease. Okay, I've cleaned the uh, gears. What I actually did was um, use the, uh, the Q-tips or the cotton buds to clean them out and they also used, which I found handy, was an old toothbrush to actually get right in between um, the bits there and actually clean them out. And what I've done now is I've put the grease, I've put liberally the, the white sort of lithium grease around there on each one. And what I've actually done is, um, I was getting some noise before, and, uh, before the start up and the end of the slowdown and so what I've actually did was I actually got an Allen key and uh, I m loosened all these three on each one. You can then move the plate, the larger gear, and move it closer or angle it different directions um, from the cock. So I sort of I sort of played with that while it was on um, to listen to the best sound really, and then I sort of tightened them up. And I've actually done that on both of those. Um, the other thing I did also. That I saw on the web was if you've got a lot of play in the larger one here what you can actually do is loosen these two grub screws here with a smaller allen key a different one than these uh, these three and then what you can do is loosen them both and then this will come out completely so you can really I, what I'd managed to do is actually push this down quite away um, so there's really no, well, literally no flex in it at all, and it's actually quietened it down even more. As I will now do. Right, I've screwed both the uh, two motors back in. You can see the screws. There's two, one at each corner. You have to screw back in. It's quite fiddly and quite tight in there. Um, I was a bit worried about losing some of the uh, the washers and things. So what I actually did was I used some blue tack and I uh, put the blue tack around the outside of the screw and hold the washer on 
and then as I'd, once I'd screwed it in a few turns I then got a pair of uh, tweezers or grips and actually pulled the blue tack off and that allowed me to get in there and screw them up quite easily without the worry of losing anything. I've still got my telescopes on here by the way. Um, I've got an MN190 which is about 10 kilos and I've got an 80mm triple on here plus a camera. So I'm looking at sort of about 15 kilos on here at the moment. But anyway they're all in and working. So it's just time now to put the board and the cover back on. And just to show you that I got it back on okay. There we are finished with the panel back on and the motherboard back in.